Classic Plastic here, bringing you another awesome haul video. This is a very large one. I went on vacation to Colorado and got a ton of games at awesome prices, so let's jump right in. The first game I got was Mega Man X5, and it's complete in box. Got it for $3. Final Fantasy Tactics. Also for $3, complete in box, both discs are in fair condition. Jumping right over to the Xbox 360, I got Halo 4 for $4.99, and I got Assassin's Creed for about $0.60. Cents. I found it at a thrift store, and it was awesome. Complete in box. And missing manual but has the bonus disc or the second disc. Next we're jumping into the original Xbox games and I got a couple of special titles. First one I got is Jade Empire only on the Xbox. Very fun game. Next one is for you adults Playboy the Mansion and this is like a Sims game except a little edgier and then I got these two awesome games, uh, Outlaws Golf, Nine Holes of Christmas, and these are Blockbuster exclusives, so you can't find them anywhere else, and I found the second one also, and I got all these for a dollar, so I was very happy, actually, there's the price tag. Moving right along <clears throat> to the PS2 games I found, first one is Trigger Man complete in box and this really cool game that I had seen on a different channel and uh, really sparked my interest Cold Fear and then the last of the PS2 games is actually a very special one and that's the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy and this is complete in well actually this is new in box I bought this from a Walmart that had an overstock of them for 20 bucks and um, it brings Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. And uh, it's just a really nice collector's box set. Moving along to the, the Sony corner of the finds, uh, we're going to the PSP. And we have Old Boy, which is a uh, Korean movie, I believe. And this is just an awesome movie. I literally just watched it. Very, very fun movie. Two dollars. Downstream Panic. I've been wanting to get my hands on this game for quite some time. Also two dollars. And Hackers with Angelina Jolie. Also two dollars. And then I also got a couple of loose carts. And um, the first one I got Nirvana's Nevermind which is an awesome album. I also got the movie Pulp Fiction. And lastly, I got Patapon 3. And this is a uh, hard to find game. Unfortunately, they're all disc onlys. And then for the PS3, I found Uncharted Drake's Fortune. And the reason I bought it was because it was going for $1.99, so how are you not going to buy this game? And it was the only one missing from the Uncharted, from my Uncharted collection. Alright, let's move on to the rest of the games. <clears throat> Moving on to the PS Vita, I got Uncharted Golden Abyss, and got that for $10, that was a really good deal. For the Wii, I got Donkey Kong Country Returns for $5, complete in box. Disc is in really good condition. And then, uh, moving on to the Game Boy games, I actually got quite a few of them. Uh, the first one is Battle Ping Pong, and I got that for a dollar. Baseball which I got for 75 cents. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan 250. Dead Heat Scramble quarter. 
alleyway, and that's Mario controlling the little spaceship. Got that for a dollar. I was really happy to find this game, the Game & Watch Gallery 2, and I got that for a dollar. Racing Rats. Mortal Kombat 2 for a dollar. And a French translator that I got for 50 cents. Alright. Now let's move on to the hardware. Also in Colorado, I got three Wii motes or three remotes for the Wii. And two of them brought the Wii Motion Plus sensor. And this one didn't, but it's blue, so I like it. I got each for $5, which is a really good deal. They're in, they're in really good condition, and you can never have enough Wii remotes. On top of that, I also got my hands on the Ghost Recon PS3 controller, which lights up and um, is supposed to be more comfortable to play shooters, which I guess... Yeah, I guess that's okay. Um, and I also got that for $5. It's wireless, and it actually connects with its USB receiver. So, very cool. Uh, I actually have a couple of more Game Boy games. These are Game Boy Advanced. This is a memory expansion pack, similar to the expansion pack on the Nintendo 64. And then Max Payne both of those games for a dollar. I also got a couple of movies, uh, Dark Knight Rises, I think I got that for two dollars, and then I got this one for two dollars, Yu Yu Hakusho the Seven. This is an awesome uh, anime, if you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend it, but um, as the sticker says, age 13 and up. Alright, so I stopped at a thrift store and I actually picked up some uh, little McDonald toys and I got them all for about a quarter a piece. So um, I got an awesome transformer, which I used to play as a little with as a little kid. I also got um, a Crash Bandicoot electronic toy and um, I haven't turned it on yet but I do know it works and actually it's a two player so that's pretty cool then I got a Spyro uh, handheld game as well this is one player alright very cool games very early uh, versions of the games and then I got the Billy Hatcher handheld game, which is an obscure title, but nonetheless still very good. All of these work. They were brand new. I opened them out of the packet. Um, <clears throat> moving on to the end of the haul, I also picked up Bully, the strategy guide, for 50 cents. So that was a really good deal, and it's an awesome game. Um, and then I got two really cool games, and um, I didn't have a console for it, so let's take a look at what I picked up yesterday. Alright, and the last find of the week um, actually really caught me by surprise. I wasn't planning on getting one, but I got a PlayStation 4, brand new and Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes and Wolfenstein The New Order um, and I picked this PS4 up last night from Baltimore from a gentleman who uh, thought it'd be cool to get one but just really wasn't into it and just wanted to uh, get rid of the console. I got it for an awesome deal nowhere near what it's going for um, <clears throat> and I picked up these two games just to try out um, the PlayStation 4's um, mechanics and also graphics so we'll be bringing you PlayStation 4 reviews as always guys game on